I'm making a cute top made out of painter's drop cloth. Um, I'm going to be doing an easy McCall's pattern hack on McCall's 7191. Welcome back to the Sopapia channel. I'm Michelle, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. This video is part two of last week's video. If you haven't seen last week's video, I will go ahead and link the video above. That video will walk you through the process of how I made the textured checkered pom-pom look on the fabric. So you'll want to check that out first and then come back to part two. And in today's video for part two, um, I'm going to be doing an easy McCall's pattern hack on McCall's 7191. And this pattern comes in the sizes um, extra small, small, and medium. Um, it is a vintage pattern in the 90s. And I looked around and it's not too hard to find. You can find the pattern on Etsy. I'll have a few places you can look if you need different sizes. I think um, I found a large and an extra large. I'm not sure. I'll have to look back again, but the links will be in the description below um, if you are interested in following along. Um, you don't necessarily need to use this pattern for today's project. If you'd like to follow along, you can use any um, bodice sewing pattern and hack it. And, and what I mean by hack is I'm going to be using this bodice uh, for the McCall 7191 as a guide to a design idea that I have in mind, or I'm basically just uh, custom customizing it just a bit. Um, like shortening the shoulders because you know I don't like when the the shoulder seam hangs below my shoulder joint and uh, let's go ahead and get started these are the pieces to sew the cute top All right, now I finished up the front and back bodice pieces for the sewing pattern. And you can now cut out the sleeve pattern if you choose to do the basic short sleeve for your top. And if not, you can get creative and make your own or you can use a, a sleeve sewing pattern from another pattern. Okay, for this next step, you're going to need flexible measuring tape. You're going to need a pencil, a French curve if you have one. If you don't, that's okay. And you'll need a ruler or a yardstick or any ruler. You'll need your front and back bodice pieces that you just trace and cut out from the McCall sewing pattern. And you'll need more tracing paper. You want to cut it into a big square or rectangle and you'll want the measurements uh, 35 inches by 23 inches, 35 inches wide and 23 inches up and down. Then you'll want to fold that piece of paper in half and you'll want the folded edge facing you at the bottom while the top edge, the open edge, is facing the top. I'm going to hack it just a little bit to have a better fit. I'm going to shorten the shoulder width. Um, it's a little bit wide. I don't really like when my sleeves hang over my shoulders. I'm going to raise the neckline and the back line just a bit. You can either hack the sewing pattern along with me or you can leave it as is. Um, your preference may be different from mine. So either way, I'm going to go ahead and hack the sewing pattern to fit my body a little bit better. We'll start with the front bodice first. Now the shoulder is four and a half inches and I am going to shorten it to three and a half inches. 
on the front and on the back. I'm going to three and a half inches. Okay, and with your French ruler, if you have one, if you don't, you can freehand it. It's just, you know, just trace along and blend it in. I just wanted to take a second. Remember uh, to save all of your scraps. You can always reuse these for other projects or the smaller scraps you can use as a filler for a pillow or a cute stuffed animal. Before we start sewing, I just wanted to give you a recap. We're using the McCall 7191 sewing pattern. And with that, I cut out the front and back bodice pieces. And um, the fabric I'm using is painter's drop cloth. And I used a textured technique, um, which I'm calling checkered pom-pom. And for the sleeve, I did cut out at first the McCall's 7191 sleeve pattern, but then I changed my mind and decided to go ahead and use the Simplicity 8506 sewing pattern. I thought I really would like a puffy sleeve a lot better, so I went ahead and cut out that pattern for the sleeve. And then for the skirt or ruffle, I went ahead and DIY'd a rectangle. Um, it's roughly 30 inches by 11 inches. Um, you can determine how much ruffle you want for your sewing pattern. You can add more or less. I chose to do less since I am going to have a textured bodice front and I didn't want to take too much away from that.
I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I would love it if you give me a like. If uh, painters drop cloth sewing projects is your jam, I would love for you to subscribe. That way you won't miss any future videos. If you are inspired by this sewing project idea, let me know in the comments below what you like about it or let me know what you don't like about it. Please join me next week for more sewing project ideas and inspiration. Um, I will see you then. Bye.